The difference between Gen 9 and Pokemon Legends is staggering. It actually doesn't seem possible when you consider these are both main series Pokemon games coming out in the same year, but something about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet embracing the open world has Game Freak doing things I didn't think the Nintendo Switch was capable of, especially after what they farted out with Pokemon Legends, and that's kind of what I want to talk about with this video, because it seems like everything I said about Pokemon Legends just being a careless tech demo of a game is pretty much confirmed by Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and this masterpiece of a game. And this masterpiece of a game. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. <laughs> Another day, another fucking video by Verlicify. You guys already know what we're getting into. It's Mitsuni Niki here once again. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Jesus Christ. The game isn't even out, Verlicify, and you already called it a fucking masterpiece, man. You know what? Let's just let's just get into this and see just how terrible his video is. So if you guys don't already know. He released another video once again called Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Proves Pokemon Legends Arceus is Terrible. Once again, he released another video shitting on Legends Arceus, and this time, it's not even comparing it to Sword and Shield or some bullshit sales. This time, it's comparing it to a Pokemon game that hasn't even dropped or shown gameplay yet. You wanna know what's funny? It's because back when he was criticizing Legends Arceus, it didn't have any gameplay shown yet. It just had a fucking trailer. But now he thinks this game is a masterpiece when all it has is a trailer. So if that doesn't scream hypocrisy, then I don't know what to tell you guys. So with that being said, let's get into this video. However, I did get one thing wrong, because it looks like Pokemon Legends didn't interfere with the Pokemon release schedule, because I look at Pokemon Legends, and I just see completely wasted potential. Relizify, I look at you and your channel, and I see a completely big old waste of fucking space. We got some weird story hindrances, because we're needlessly in the past. I wanted... Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to look like what we have with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and that's why I was upset with Pokemon Legends, like, we get Legends instead of this. But then at the same time, like, we're getting this in the same year. And the interesting thing is, I don't see anything in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer and think, man, we could have gotten more, man, this game could have been so much better without Pokemon Legends, but it really just kind of shows that Pokemon Legends was completely unnecessary. Jesus Christ, Felicify, how the fuck does this prove that Pokemon Legends Arceus was unnecessary, man? You're getting two Pokemon games in the same damn year. A lot of fans, including myself, think that this is a little bit too early for them to be releasing another fucking Pokemon game this year because they just dropped Legends Arceus, but it's whatever, you know? Hopefully it'll be really good. There's a, it seems like there's going to be a lot of Pokemon in different environments. It seems like it's going to be exactly what Legends Arceus was, except better. You know, and that's a good thing. You know, I'm just hoping they live up to this shit. Now, take a look at it this way for this fight. You didn't like Legends Arceus, but it seems like you like Scarlet and Violet, even though there's not any gameplay yet. Well, if it drops out and it turns out that you really do love the game and everything, how about this? How about you just shut the fuck up about Legends Arceus and just go play Scarlet and Violet? There you go. Bam. We got two Pokemon games this year. In fact, I'm probably convinced that they dropped this game just so they could shut your darn mouth about Legends Arceus because. Game Freak probably saw how much you apparently seem to hate the game so darn much. So it was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's just make a separate game for Felicify and all his little fanboys and cronies instead. Okay, man? It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. There's not even any gameplay yet. How does this prove that Legends Arceus is terrible? Please, tell me. You know what? No, don't tell me. Because every point you ever came up with for Felicify is so dumb. Okay, man? You cannot come up with good points for Felicify. You can't. You know why? Because you live off of toxicity and you live off of hate. I feel like a lot of people are catching on. You know, I feel like Pokemon Legends was basically just a warm-up game for this. I'm excited for Scarlet Violet. I think the reason why Legends Arceus isn't as good is because Game Freak was working on this one. The fact this game exists proves that Pokemon Arceus was a tech demo. What you just said made no damn sense for Lucify. 
if Legends Arceus wasn't as good as Scarlet and Violet because they were too busy working on two Pokemon titles at the same time, Felicify, wouldn't that mean that maybe Scarlet and Violet won't be good either because they put half the effort into it as well because most of their attention was, half of their attention was directed to Legends Arceus and then the other half was directed to Scarlet and Violet. So wouldn't that mean that they put in half the effort for both games or something? I don't know, Felicify, your logic sounds really stupid right now. I'm trying to comprehend it. I'm trying to stoop to your level i guess and i don't know, maybe understand your way of thinking even though i just realized there's no way of understanding what the hell you just said because you probably don't even know what the hell you just said and so on and so forth this is why legends felt unfinished and that's kind of like the weird thing and again it's giving me this mixed emotion that i actually don't think as bad of pokemon legends for its existence because we still get such a great game but also just kind of shows like pokemon legends why is it main series? Why is it a $60 game? It should have just been $40 spin-off embracing all the nonsense that it is. And it still doesn't change the fact of how deceptive Pokemon Legends was with its marketing because everyone saw this and thought, oh man, open world Pokemon game, let's go. Not an open world game. And now we're back to the points about how you keep saying that Game Freak deceived us with Pokemon Legends Arceus and his fucking marketing, even though that is completely 100% false. Jesus Christ, man. Le Legends Arceus was not deceptive with its marketing. Okay, Verlicify? Not only that, man, but Scarlet and Violet isn't even out yet, and look at this, man. You've already been milking the game for so many damn views already. You dropped three videos already on Scarlet and Violet. The game isn't even out yet. Three damn videos, and before that, you were also trying to milk some content out of Elden Ring by streaming it and then making a shitty fucking guide. And look at that, you barely even got any views on it. Jesus Christ, Verlicify, you just hopped from one thing to the next, chasing and chasing the views, huh, man? Oh my lord, dude. I won't be surprised if you start making hate videos on Elden Ring like you did back when you started doing Animal Crossing content and then you started attacking their community. Jesus Christ, man. You just don't let up, do you, Verlicify, huh? You just don't let up. Legends Arcus is a tech demo. Get the hell out of here with this, man. <sighs> and then they were also hiding some other... Like, they weren't really clear about Pokemon Legends not being open world, but with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet... They are on top of it. This is the open world of Pokemon. It's an open world adventure. They say open world twice in the description because, and then they show it off like this because it's a true open Pokemon experience. So what everyone was excited about for Pokemon Legends that ended up not happening is the promise being fulfilled for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You know what would be the, probably the biggest twist ever, but probably not even completely unseen, is as soon as they start showing gameplay for this damn game, he automatically just starts bashing it and stuff. Because it looks too similar to Legends Arcus. That'll be the funny thing. Because you wanna know what else is damn funny? is how this game already looks a bit like Legends Arceus, but more. And yet he seems to fucking love it for some reason. I guess maybe the fact that to him, they keep saying it's truly open world is what's selling him over, I guess, or whatever. I don't fucking know, man. Felicify just likes to feed off of hate once again. You know, he just likes to be toxic and go against the mold. That's all it is with Felicify. You got to do it for the darn views, huh, Publicify, huh? That's all you got to do. You just got to sit here. You got to turn on your camera and you just got to sit here and spout whatever the hell comes to your head first. And what seemingly comes to your head first, because it lives rent free up in there, is stuff about Legends Arceus and how much you hate the game, apparently. We haven't even gotten gameplay for Scarlet and Violet yet, and you're already gushing over it and thinking it's a masterpiece. You think it's a masterpiece already when we haven't even been shown gameplay, but apparently because they keep saying it's truly open world to you, that already solidifies the fact that the game is good. Now, I'm not going to say that the game isn't good, okay? Because for all I know, it probably really is. I'm actually a little bit excited about this. Okay, I think the game might do well, you know? But I also do think that they're releasing another one a little bit too early. But at the same time, you know, I'm interested in what they're going to show off. So, I caught on early. I was like, nah, this is, this is wrong. This, I don't like how it's taking place in the past. It seems like it's going to stop us. It's not living to its fullest potential. And that's why I don't support Pokemon Legends. It didn't try to be a good Pokemon game. It just was a tech demo. And I want a game. I want Pokemon. I want Game Freak to do the best they can do every time around. I love Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Sword and Shield are great games. And then when you look at this, like, this is the culmination. This is what Pokemon fans deserve. And even then, there was still, like, a lot of other weird marketing and advertising for Pokemon Legends that made me go, this game is actually bad. Do you hear how dumb you sound right now, Felicify? 
Pokemon Legends of Arceus apparently didn't try to be a good game. Do you even know what you just said, huh? Game Freak sits here and they try something new. I guarantee you they probably worked their ass off to even make a game like Legends of Arceus. And I'm pretty sure for Scarlet and Violet as well. Only for it to come out and have people like you shitting all over it when they tried to finally do something different for Pokemon once. Just think about that, man. These are the type of people who apparently just don't seem to like change. They just want the same entire damn thing when it comes to their game franchise. Jesus Christ, man. People want something new and exciting, okay? They don't want to sit here and do this tried and true formula all the time unless you can implement it really well. Which brings me around to games like Dark Souls or the Soul series in general. From Soft, they know exactly what the hell they're doing when it comes to their tried and true formula of trying new things while also keeping the same damn approach look at all their souls games okay look at Sekiro. look at elden ring that just fucking dropped it's pretty much just dark souls 4 is that a bad thing no it's not because they know exactly what the hell people want people want the same old souls formula that's been given to them before just put new stuff in it and that's exactly what they did they made it open world they put in tons of items, hidden secrets, they put in horse combat, horse riding, they put in a jumping ability, and you don't take fall damage unless, well, of course you jump on a fucking pit, and then you'll die instantly. They put in tons of new bosses, new story, they even got George R. R. Martin to help them with the world building on the damn game, okay? Because they know what their fans want, and they know what the world wants from them when it comes to their games, okay? They know what they want themselves, they make a game that they like to play as well, okay? They know that people want the same tried and true souls formula of difficult combat, deep lore, great bosses and combat and story, okay? But they also want new things put in it, and they've been doing that for every single title. I know I'm going off on a long tangent, but you got to understand the points that I'm coming up here with, because when it comes to Felicify, this right here, he's one of those people who just does not seem to like change when it comes to their franchises, you know, growing stale, because, listen... Pokemon was growing stale for a bit, okay? And Sword and Shield was just proof of that. But then Legends Arceus came, and it was pretty much just a beacon of light. Look at this. Like, there's so many people who like Pokemon Legends Arceus right now. It is insane how good of a game it is. Now, I'm not saying that Legends Arceus is a perfect game by no means, okay? Because it's not a perfect game. But it's definitely a step in the right direction, and I'd be hard-pressed to find someone who genuinely believes that it's not. Unless you're Velisify, of course, because he just loves to go against the mold. And I'm also not saying that just because I think Sword and Shield was stale or was making Pokemon go stale for a bit, you know, it's not okay to like uh, Sword and Shield. Because it's okay for you to like Sword and Shield. I personally don't really like the game. But you also can't tell me that a lot of people, especially in the Pokemon community, are not getting tired of playing pretty much the same game with the same combat every single release now. Because now Pokemon Legends Arceus has came out and has tried new things, you know, and people like that. Because no one wants to be given the same darn game every single year with nearly nothing new in it. And that's what's been happening with Pokemon for a bunch of years already, okay? Now, if you enjoy that, there's nothing wrong with that. But... A lot of people do really just want something new. No one wants to be given the same thing. Eventually, your franchise will go stale and people will start to ask for more to keep that from happening. Such as not really hiding the gameplay loop, but people were still confused about. Like, people hated me for stating the fact that the gameplay loop is going to be filling out the Pokedex and then gating it behind research. People said that I was lying and wrong about the game even though I was reading the website because they didn't like the way that sounded and then they got mad at me for covering the truth. Jesus Christ, man. The cognitive dissonance is so fucking high right now, Verlissify. You are completely tone deaf to why people hated you, man. You want to know something, Verlissify? You want to know what would be great for the Pokemon community? is if we was all rid of you, okay? That would make us all happy is if somehow you just... You just snapped out of existence one day along with your darn channel off the internet and never made a comeback. Also, the Pokemon company was not upfront about there being no multiplayer in the games, and they hid some of the more questionable and awful designs. Like, if they showed the legendaries before the game came out, guarantee hundreds of thousands of less sales because no one wants to be a part of this. Same thing for the uh, starters. 
I saw most people being upset about how they massacred their favorite Pokemon or just did not deliver on the potential of having Hisuian or like, you know, regional variants of some fan favorite starter Pokemon. Ah, right, Relucify. Even though the game has been out for a while and people can already still see what the legendaries look like in the game, and yet it doesn't seem like the sales have diminished one bit. Remember, Relucify was one of the highest selling Pokemon games. Once again, what you just said made no sense at all because if that was the case, the game still wouldn't have sold well after it got released and people could see what the legendaries looked like. Really, a lot of it is a disappointment, and if that disappointment was made known before the games came out, wouldn't have done as well. And then to prove how Pokemon Legends wasn't even trying to be a good Pokemon game or trying to look as good as it could be, we have the shot of this town from the first trailer compared to what Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is doing. Oh god, here we go. Let's see how he tries to come up with some bullshit and spin it around and make it seem like the game is worse than he already thinks it is. This almost looks like a over-designed town from a spin-off game because all the fidelity can go into it. Nah, this is just in the main series Pokemon game and it is absolutely wonderful. I'm getting like Poketopia vibes, I'm getting Pokin Plaza vibes from this and other kind of games that we've seen in the past. This seems well beyond anything I could have expected or dreamed for a main series Pokemon town and then also like comparing some of the other areas even to Pokemon Sword and Shield, this doesn't seem possible. Alright, can you shut up and stop gushing over this damn town in Verlucify and sit here and explain to us how this makes Legends Arceus look like an incomplete game? Actually, you know what? It would be better if you just ended the video right here instead of spouting more random bullshit and toxicity out your mouth because I really cannot take no more and I'm pretty sure the audience cannot take no more either for Let's Fight. But it is, so why, like, why didn't we just get this? Or why even have Pokemon Legends if this is going to be the ultimate game? Why not make something in between this and Pokemon Sword and Shield for a brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl or Sinnoh remake? It confuses me even more but then people are like, well, as you can see, Pokemon Legends was a stepping stone. It wasn't. It was a clear step back. Because growing on the DLC, expanding on the wild area, and embracing that is what's bringing us to the incredible game that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is looking to be. Your logic makes no sense at all, Verlucify. Once again, because if it was a step back, why the hell would they put this game out before Scarlet and Violet? Just to give us a taste, maybe, of what Scarlet and Violet will be next, okay? By showing us that this is what they can do with Legends Arceus. Now, Scarlet and Violet will be their fully realized fucking vision, Verlucify. But of course, no. Everything has to be a step back to you when it doesn't go your darn way. Because if that was the case... Why wouldn't they just put Scarlet and Violet out first, this amazing Pokemon game that you apparently think it's going to be, okay? And then afterwards, just drop Legends Arceus with how it is already, because Scarlet and Violet seems like it's already more diverse in locations. And then as soon as they drop Scarlet and Violet, put Legends Arceus out a few months later instead of vice versa. And show us, oh, well, Legends Arceus isn't even nowhere near as varied or has some really good combat and Pokemon designs as Scarlet and Violet. Why the hell would they put this out right after Scarlet and Violet? No. Instead, it seems like they're going the opposite approach by showing us this is what they can do with Legends Arceus. Now that they're going to show us their fully realized vision of a Pokemon open world game by dropping Scarlet and Violet soon. Jesus Christ for this fight. Was that so hard for you to understand right there? Because we have like expanded wild area, really just trying to open up that exploration. We have fake open world with uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then we have true open world Pokemon. Alright, you know what? I'm done. I can't take this no more, man. I'm tired of hearing Velocify's mouth and everything and all the stupid points and stuff that he keeps coming up with for why Legends Arceus is a terrible game or whatever because now he's over here milking content for the new game that isn't even out yet and claiming it's already a masterpiece compared to Legends Arceus without there even being damn gameplay of it, man. Jesus Christ, dude. I am so done with this at this point. I need a rest because my head hurts and I think I'm down to my last two brain cells after going down this Felicify rabbit hole. So with that being said guys, I just want to thank you all for all the subscribers that we have. We're almost at 300 and I just want to thank you all for all the support and everything. I really do appreciate that and stuff. I know I don't say it too much, you know, but I really do appreciate all the support. So, with that being said, you guys already know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the notifications to get really, um, 
shoot, I can't even talk right now. Turn on notifications to get updates about when I release new videos. And this is me. I'm going to go rest my head for a bit. Mitsuni Nika, out. I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way.